the same way in the same tone that the prophet sallam declared that the anger the cause of almighty allah be on a giver and a taker of bribe he said similar thing on riba interest it is not an excuse for you to say it was the bank who asked me to pay which asked me to pay interest it was the cooperative society that insisted i must pay interest la'an allah akila riba wa mukila in another hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam narrated by jabir ibn abdullah radiyallahu anhu very famous companion of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said the prophet said the cause the anger of almighty allah be on both the taker and the giver of interest or riba so please let us take note of all this it is not in every circumstance that we will have that leeway of saying i'm not the one who initiated it whether you initiated it or you supported it you are liable in bribery the same thing in riba interest the same thing in fact in riba the cause the anger will extend to even the writer the prophet said describe even someone that was employed just to write that oh we lent you we advanced a loan of so 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 to you on agreement that you pay so 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 percentage of interest you are not a giver neither a taker but you are what describe you are the secretary you are the manager eh yeah? you are the banker that is the meaning we have to tell ourselves the bitter truth la'an allahu akila riba wa mukilahu wa wa katibahu the giver the taker the scribe and who again wa shahidayhi even the witnesses even if you are called to come and witness a riba interest transaction please do not do it's dangerous for you tell them i cannot do that the sin is almost equal if you initiate riba if you support riba if you facilitate riba but in the end of this hadith he said wa qala hum sawa they are all equal in the sight of almighty allah the giver the taker the facilitator the witness <laughs> May Almighty Allah preserve us and our faith. These are part of the things that will land people in trouble on the day of resurrection. They have prayed, they have observed fasting, they paid zakat, they went on hajj. But on account of these little little things they failed to pay attention to, they will be in trouble. May Almighty Allah preserve us and guide us.